In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a loco net wire from a six strand data cable and some RJ12 connectors. So to do this, um, the reason why I'm doing this video is because I had I got 50 foot of data line at a local hardware store for three dollars, and I wanted to make some local net cables to connect uh, some of my Digitrax um, modules and I didn't want to have to pay a lot of money to actually pay for the Digitrax brand local net cable. So I got uh, some six strand data wire at a local hardware store and you can see that there's six strands in there. Uh, I've already cut this up a little bit but it, it came with both ends uh, with, with a connector and I actually use this uh, for quite a while in its full 50 foot length to connect um, some of my modules. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make uh, a couple strips here. First thing you need are some RJ12 connectors. These are uh, six prong connectors. I got these off eBay. There's 50 of them in a package for literally uh, $2.99 with, uh, with free shipping. Um, vis visually when you take a look at this there are six prongs across there. Uh, at the end of this video, I'll show some close-up, uh, high-definition still photos so you can really get a good close look at these. Now, one of the things you'll notice, and this is what prompted me to do this video, before I cut my cable up, I wanted to make sure that I had the right connector, so I tried to put them into one of the ports, and you can see that they don't, they don't fit. So, what I ended up doing was, um, uh, I got my crimping device, and I actually crimped one of these off, to make sure that it actually fits. So once you crimp these, there's a plastic tab underneath here that, and these brass fittings sort of clamp down and uh, makes the connection and allows this to fit. So you're gonna need your uh, six wire data cable, you're gonna need your RJ12 connectors, uh, you're gonna need your Digitrack system with a throttle plugged in. Uh, the track power does not need to be on. I have my LT1, uh, connector tester that came with my uh, Super Chief and we'll use this later. I have a stripping tool that I literally got from Menards for uh, $5 on clearance but it allows easy cutting up. You can use any kind of phone cord cutter and then the crimping tool um, and it, it's for RJ11 which is the four prong phone cord but it does work for the RJ12 six prong. So what I'm going to do is, I know I've already pre-measured some of the uh, cable lengths that I need, and I'm going to make about a one foot local net cable. So I have one end already that's been cut off, and I'm going to measure this out to about 12 inches. So I'm going to take my cutter, and there's actually two different blades in here, one that actually cuts and then these two blades don't cut all the way through the cable. So this is pretty slick. When you go to cut this, it's going to cut the cable off. But then these blades actually strip your wires off. So now it strips the sheathing off your wire, so now you have your six wires exposed. Since this end is already cut, I'm just going to go ahead and strip off the end of this. That simple. Now, if you read the Digitrax manual, um, you will see that they recommend that you always put the white cord, if you're looking at your plug from the top, that they want the white cable to be to the right. So you just slide this on, uh, make sure that it's all the way to the end. Now I'm going to take my crimping tool it just slides in there, crimp that off, pulls right out, boom, we've got one end of this already done. Now, when you're doing this, logic would probably tell you, oh, this end is up, so then this is the opposite end, this end needs to be up. In reality, if you're going to look at the cord from one view, one end has to be up at the top and then the other end has to be inverted, or the way I always do it, since Digitrax recommends the white cord being on the right, for the second side, again, I put the white cord to the right, make sure that it goes all the way to the end. I'm going to crimp this down. And 
and both of these so when they're plugged in the white wire is going to correspond to the right side of this plug followed by the black followed by the red and so on and so forth so the last thing we need to do is to test this to make sure that it's got a good connection so I'm just going to plug it into an empty port and then again the track power does not need to be on plug the other end in and you should see four LEDs light up on your tester that means I have a good connection and I have just created a working local net cable for literally probably about 75 cents.